The Masters of Sustainability, Innovation and Technology is a program that allows the students to personalize their learning based on the skills they want to develop. Maybe you have a technical background and you want to focus more on the data science or you have a more entrepreneurial mindset and you want to think about how the research framework can help you innovate on a business mindset. What I think is so interesting about is that on the one side it's a very scientific approach where you learn substantial information about data, about AI, about engineering, but on the other hand we have combined this knowledge with sustainability and also leadership and management and I think this is the combination actually which we need to bring and advance companies yeah, and also developments and especially when it comes to our future. What do we mean by sustainability? Sometimes I think it's about climate change, but it's so much more than that. Sustainable development goals, gender equality, access to education. People who are passionate about technology, people who are passionate about sustainability, people who are passionate about innovation and bringing this together, those are the ones we are addressing. People who want to build data products, people who want to understand and leverage actually information to create new solutions. In the initial phase of the Masters, you learn the foundations about sustainability, foundations about innovation and foundations about data as well. You start to think about how do we apply the scientific method into real-world projects. In the next stage, you can really personalize your learning based on what you want to develop further and what you want to focus. Moving from the calibration phase, we start thinking about what does my specialization look like in practice. That could be a project that you come up with, or it can be a project that one of our industry partners is working on and you want to collaborate with them to help them solve a problem. I'm super excited about our partner network. This comes from very different companies where we have mentors from, for example, Apple, Tesla or Google. We have experts from Deutsche Bank or um, from very different industries actually. But also, for example, we partner with the Green Tech Festival, which I'm very excited about, where we launched an academy together. And what this does and what our partners does is they bring in and actually challenges which our students also can work on and really create direct value for those partners. In the last stage of the program, you will work on your thesis. It's time to bring your own contributions to the area that you are interested. It's really the time to innovate. Our university is primarily focused on, on impact and we really leverage that through challenge-based learning. You're not going to be getting tests, you're not going to be graded in a traditional manner. We're really focused on you leveraging your expertise and the expertise that we help teach you for creating impact. When we talk about setting up our students for success, what we believe is where it comes from is a lot about knowing why this really matters for you. That's the reason why we talk so much about purpose. It's so important that you're clear about your why um, and that you then not just know your why but actually you apply that and you're applying that throughout your uh, curriculum so that in the Master of Science in Sustainable Innovation and Technology for example you really apply uh, every challenge, every class you take, you apply that on your mission. Our learners are amazing people, they are coming from around the world and they are really passionate. They are also looking uh, for something which can elevate them in their career. They are looking for the right credibility like tomorrow has as a state recognized university. They are looking for this community. I think more and more people want to have a meaningful career. They want to work on something that they care about. They want to understand their values. Technological literacy embeds a lot of those skills because we're going to have more and more emerging technologies that are changing at a very fast pace for us to be able to use it in an effective way but also in a responsible way we need to think about the ethical considerations we need to think about the impact that the decisions we are making can have and also include different perspectives